What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army. You guys might recognize this as uh, Drift right here. One of the uh, last of the really good Transformers that came out, you know, uh, before we started getting this junk now lately that's all hollow and whatever. But there used to be a time when we had nice little transformable Transformers like this. Transformable Transformers. Um, but anyway, so this is Drift. Right, he's an Autobot, really cool looking, white, obviously a little Japanese theme going. But maybe you guys didn't know that uh, he was once a Decepticon. That's right guys, Drift was once a Decepticon called Deadlock. And that's actually who the review is on. So let's get this out of the way and check out Deadlock. So Deadlock here is uh, release number LGEX, Deadlock. All right, so Takara Tomy release. This is the box, which I have to say has some really nice artwork um, on the front there, on the sides, on the back. Obviously shows the same thing every other box from the Legends series shows. Uh, really cool. You also get the instructions here, done in a nice little G1 grid type thing with a little typical Takara little white little paper in there. And it also came with a poster comic or something. Look at this, very nice paper. So you guys can check that out. Alright, so it came with that. And of course it also came with the figure itself. Got the weapons here in a baggie. He also got his sword. Alright, which has some nice little kanji or whatever you call that. Detailing Japanese letters. I don't know what that's called. Uh, and then the figure itself. Notice the packaging. Like, we, we got Transformers here, here in... Uh, in the US in cheap blister packs look how they get theirs all nicely packaged then again this is not a normal release even the normal releases for the legends do come in a clamshell uh, I'm gonna go ahead open this up here so deadlock guys deadlock again this is uh, drift back in his bad Decepticon days when he used to kill Autobots and uh, I gotta say this thing is pretty stunning. Um, really glad they were able to make something this nice since I'm so used to seeing crappy Transformers figures lately. Look at this. It's got a nice purple trim going on right here and also to the size of the door. Look at those wheels. Nice metallic gold paint. Got some nice Decepticon-ish red windows going on right there. And the rest is just like black plastic. The windows out back, since they're not clear, they're just painted red. Kind of wish they had, oops, a little more detail going on in the ta in the taillights here. Uh, I'm sure, if if I haven't checked, but I'm sure Repo labels will have something for that if they don't already. Uh, and if they do, I will pick it up. But yeah, so here's the underside, and we're gonna go ahead and compare it to the regular drift, so you can see the color differences in vehicle mode. Right here. Alright, so it actually makes this drip uh, seem a little cheaper <laughs> than I thought it was, but um, you know, it's the same figure, just different paint apps. And of course, can't forget about this guy right here, because this is another uh, version of this mold. This is Blur. Alright, and this is the Hasbro version. But uh, yeah, so deadlock right here, guys, in vehicle mode. Let's take a gander one more time before we move on. Now we obviously want to check out um, robot mode, so that's what we're going to do. I don't really remember exactly the order this is supposed to be done, but I do remember how to transform him since I just did it to the other two just about five minutes ago. All right, obviously going to get the arms there. Then we want to split the back here, the sides. All right, get the legs out of the way here. Very simple transformation. For some reason, I remember it being a little more difficult than it really is, but again, very easy transformation. And uh, I like it. And we can fold these windows in here. And what I like about, uh, well, Deadlock, or the this mold actually, is the fact that you can, um, you know, store weapons. I really like when you can store weapons. It really does a lot for my liking of a figure. Since most of the uh, 
figures I have have weapons and baggies because you know I throw away the boxes but I'm glad uh, this guy has storage alright so there he is I gotta say this thing looks beautiful uh, it, it goes to show how much you know attention to paint apps and things really make a difference to a figure I mean this this, um, I, this thing you know it wasn't cheap um, but you know looking at it now I can see where the money went paint apps things like that so check out his weapons uh, this long blaster here can actually be clipped onto the back There's little tabs in there yes tab it in like so and little slots here for these pistols to go in just push them right in just like that then he's got a sword again a little bit of detail on there it's got red over that uh, Japanese text there and also at the bottom a little jewel or something whatever that's supposed to be and we're gonna put that in there and it is a flexible PVC right here so it's not going to snap or show stress marks, anything like that. And check it out. It looks really, really, really good. Uh, I really dig it. And, it, you know, this is a great example of, you know, what you're used to collecting. And then all of a sudden going to the store and seeing, you know, sorry excuses for Transformers that they're giving us. Like, the Transformers have been completely diluted like crazy. I mean, they've gone through changes. They've gone through... You know, uh, you know, being made out of die cast in the past, and then uh, you know, you know, getting a little more detailed and using better plastics, and then now they just crap as far as I'm concerned. But uh, yeah, this was still part of the line, and it was good. And here's drift off to the right, uh, just to do a comparison uh, before he got into anime and Japanese stuff and drifting. But um, yeah, I gotta say, deadlock. Definitely happy with it. Uh, my plans were to review him and sell him. I'm a little bit iffy now on whether I'm going to sell him, but I probably will. But anyway, uh, it's already got a taker, so calm down, guys. Calm down. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And uh, yeah, I'll make sure to see if I can answer those questions soon and hopefully have another review up soon guys uh, it's getting a little tough doing reviews lately but uh, I'm sure you guys understand got things going on but um, there's with his pistol yeah if you want to get one of these uh, you can click in the link in the description below until next time guys bye bye